And how did you wind up focusing on the pet industry with uh, doggy drawings? Okay, that was sort of an, um, that was, that wasn't a planned thing. <laughs> I didn't <laughs> plan to become, to start doggy drawings. I didn't have any intention of getting into the pet industry. Um, I adopted a dog and <laughs> he, he took over my life. I started drawing him. I drew, I drew my fosters and shared the, my work on the internet and people contacted me and said, this was like going way back 10 years ago. They said, oh, can you draw my dog? Um, and it all started as a fundraiser. I asked people to donate money to Boston Buddies Rescue and I would draw their dog in exchange. So it started off as almost a free thing that I did a side project, a hobby project. I would draw people's dogs in exchange for their donations. And then suddenly I found myself doing this full time. <laughs> I had so many requests that I really didn't have much time to do my other work, which was animation. I was freelancing. Um, it kind of took over my life and I wasn't making any money. So I started charging for it. And slowly that's how I got into doing pet art. 